All right, guys, in this video, one of my buddies, one of my coaches sent me this video because we wanted to talk about where you should be in regards to your scap load and in relationship to getting your foot down on time. So when you look at Seeger, now Seeger, you know, obviously there's not a lot of guys that hit like him or set up like him, but he's got a very unique way of doing it, but he keeps his hands pretty much right about, right about the letters. He doesn't keep his hands way too high. And I think that's the first thing. Now, if you look at this, the, the pitcher's already released the ball. He's a toe tapper. So he brings his foot back and then he taps out, okay? And then what he's doing here is what we're not talking about, and we're talking about this in our training, but a lot of guys don't get this, is that he's hip winding at this point. So as his foot comes down and his hands scap, right? They talk about elbow into the slot. So now his elbow is going to get into the slot while that lead elbow is going to generate up. And then you're going to watch his hands, and we got a circle on his hands, but watch how his hands will rotate backwards, okay? That's going to send the barrel backwards, okay? And watch this, okay? He brings his hands back, he rotates, and he makes his connection. Watch this right here. You can see the barrel of the, the bat right there rotating behind him, okay? They talk about knob to the ball. Here's the thing. Here's the knob right here. The ball, <laughs> the ball is here. So when I talk about people, I talk about staying inside. Let me clear that. I talk about staying inside the ball. Don't go knob to the ball because you'll pull off this pitch, okay? So again, he rotates the connection. Right there is the only time you'll ever see knob to the ball. But that's after, and we've talked about this several times, that's after he's worked on that deep barrel turn and getting that barrel whip. Now, you can see that blur. This is his blur. The barrel is whipping to get the connection right there. Okay? Now, when you watch that connection point, you can see his hips. Everything is geared towards the pitcher still. It's not towards the pull side. Look at his back knee. Towards the pitcher. Towards his connection points. Not off the pull side. That's the biggest thing I tell people all the time is, Stay closed as long as you can. After connection, you'll naturally get through to the backside. 